On the advice of counsel, I plead the Fifth Amendment and assert my constitutional rights to remain silent. Well, that is El Paso District Attorney Ivan Rosades pleading the fifth in court today during a hearing for the Walmart mass shooting trial. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Natasha Paloma. And I'm Andy Morgan. It's the first time we've seen Rosales in months and comes after her resignation, which is set to go into effect in two weeks. KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxler was in the courtroom today. And Carla, the DA pleading the fifth wasn't necessarily a surprise, but was still pretty shocking to see how this all unfolded. Yes, Andy, many shocking events in today's hearing, to say the least. Uh, the DA pleading the Fifth Amendment and also showing up in court after five months of being in the hiding. Yvonne Rosales entering the courtroom after five months of hiding from the public eye. Now swearing in as witness, her attorney announcing she will be invoking the Fifth Amendment, criticizing the judge for allowing media to be present. My concern is the court has entered a gag order to avoid the media from being involved in this. Now, if I may ask, Judge, who is... Hold on, hold on. Let's get something very clear. A gag order by a court is never to the media. This court has no power to keep the free press from doing their job. Saying Rosales taking the stand is meant to humiliate her. They, they want to ask her a bunch of questions so that they can get in the media and blow it even further? No, Your Honor, that's not right. But as she is asked questions by defense. On the advice of counsel, I plead the Fifth Amendment and assert my constitutional rights to remain silent. She pleads the fifth over. I assert my Fifth Amendment right and preserve my rights under the Constitution to remain silent. And over again. As you, Curtis Cox, and Roger Rodriguez falsified emails to victims, filed false pleadings in concert and in conspiracy. You perpetrated a fraud on the court and lied to the court on numerous times as a district attorney to advance your political gain with no regard whatsoever to the victim. Isn't that true? I assert my Fifth Amendment right and re, uh, under the Constitution to remain silent. Even to questions like this one. Mr. Salas, uh, you have not come to work for the last eight weeks, is that correct? Can again object on the Fifth Amendment privilege, Rule 8.4D and 4.4 of the Texas Rules of Disciplinary Conduct. Your Honor, that has nothing that it would incriminate her where she's been for the last eight weeks. As this proceeded, Judge Samedrano dismissed her as witness, deciding. I am not going to be making a finding or a decision at this point as to how my gag order was violated or by who. Defense proceeding to state all questions for the record, they would ask Rosales and Curtis Cox, who also pled the fifth on Wednesday. After one more witness, Kyle Vance with the DA's office here to represent the state, struggling to find words for the final argument. So I'm confused of actually really what, what, the, what my argument may be about, to be honest with you, Judge. Also condemning actions coming out of testimonies. I, I, I think that the, the, the actions that that Roger Rodriguez has done or, or trying to find a word to use for that are, are very disturbing. Defense closing out with sympathy Senator, for the community and firmly dismantling accusations they used by Rosales' counsel. We have been saying from day one that this case needs to be tried in this community. We have never mentioned a change of venue. And Your Honor, you will never see a change of venue from this defense team for this case. Now, as far as that gag order violation goes, why this hearing was set up in the first place, you, hear, you heard uh, Judge Medrano saying he's not making that decision today, but he will be reviewing those testimonies and evidence and then setting up another hearing to make that decision. Back to you. And our thanks to Carla, who continues our coverage there on the DA.